Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Dean Donahue, for the lovely introduction. I know how you feel. Choosing a college can be daunting and intimidating. It will certainly be life-changing. You are sitting there thinking, my professional future depends on this choice. Yes, that is true. But I have come to learn that this choice is about so much more than one's professional future. As an international student, the decision to come to Hofstra to pursue an education in the direct entry PA program came after much thought about my dream of having a career as a healthcare professional and my vision regarding healthcare in my country. One day soon, I intend to play a role in changing healthcare in rural India. I dream of enhancing the delivery of mid-level healthcare services in ways that can ensure everyone's basic human needs are met. I know I need to be trained to combat illness in the most scientific way. And yet to succeed, I must combine that training with leadership and organizational skills. And this is where Hofstra comes in. While Hofstra has gone beyond my expectations educationally, it has led me to understand that my college experience should be about more than just professional preparation. Hofstra is helping me face the realities of life. And for that, I am grateful in more ways than I could have imagined when I was in your position. I thought I came here to learn biology, chemistry, and, se and subjects that prepare me for a career that would help the healthcare system in my country. To my surprise, the classes I have taken so far have helped me evaluate where I stand as a person. In in, our, in addition to preparing me to be a scientist. One of my most striking academic experiences at Hofstra involved culture and expression, courses taken by all first-year honors college students. Culture and expression entails an intense series of lectures and small group discussions that focus on a theme. This past fall, our theme had us examining illness, disease, and death through the eyes of philosophers like Plato and Lucretius, but also from the point of view of suffering people like Job in the Hebrew scriptures. Our study of these ideas spanned cultures and ages, and each one of us, even if we never intended on pursuing careers in the healthcare field, took from it messages loaded with lessons for our lives. Let me give you an example. In one of my classes, the professor asked, is it possible to rationalize illness and death? As I thought about it, I saw through the story of Job that reason often fails to give us answers regarding the ultimate meaning of pain, suffering, and death. Further, by putting myself in the shoes of the character, I learned that one day, as a healthcare professional, empathy would be one of my greatest tools for bringing about healing. And this is a lesson not just for healthcare workers. Just the other day, I sat with one of my professors who helped me see how to put in my personality in my writing. Her empathic response to my situation helped ignite a passion for writing in me. To tell you the truth, Hofstra has taught me that life is about so much more than just my career. And in this way, Hofstra is doing a good job in molding me into a genuine and confident leader. Hofstra is growing and excelling in so many areas. In its dynamic atmosphere, a student feels impelled to grow too. It is full of new life. Small classes enable personal interaction with professors. My teachers accept me with my background as an international student and help me bring out the best in myself, given my talents and my weaknesses. This is what makes Hofstra special. While excellence is the goal, the faculty and staff understand that each of our stories and training is different and do their best to enhance our experience. Their goal is to train us, to train ourselves to continually improve throughout our lives. That is something I'm working on now. However, my growth doesn't stem from just the messages I get in class. Life experiences at Hofstra have given me a chance to step up and take bold steps that sometimes involve a stumble or two. Mind you, life is not easy and the going will get tough. But always remember, Hofstra gives you a chance after any fall to pick yourself up and run again. Perhaps an excellent example of where this happens is in the Honors Residence Halls. Through group activities, get-togethers, and spending time with one another, we make enduring friendships with peers who become something of a second family for us. The communities we form in the honor storms are close-knit and involve first years through seniors. When you are facing a problem, know that you will always have someone to go to. 
Or perhaps, if like me, you just needed help organizing yourself on a busy college day, you too will have a group of friends who help write out schedules for you, organize your room, and check on you like they did for me. Since first years all take culture and expression together, our residence halls become support systems for our educational experience. When we are lacking, there is always someone else to provide strength. Looking forward, I see myself in the next few years pursuing research at Hofstra, like so many of the sophomores, juniors, and seniors who are ahead of me. I also know that Hofstra's close proximity to New York leaves me with a variety of options available in the city to make the most of my educational experience. Best of all are the extraordinary on-campus organizations and groups that will make my life at Hofstra fulfilling. Honors College Service Corps, for example, really does make a difference in our local community. If your passion is singing, Sigma a cappella, or even the Hofstra Gospel Ensemble do amazing things on campus and off campus. Many wonder why I would take the risk to come to this land so far from home and family. As I look back on this decision, I believe I am being prepared to be more than just a working professional. I am being prepared to be a sincere contributor to society. Hofstra's diversity exposes me to new ideas and gives me the chance to fulfill the dream I have in my heart. Hofstra's immense resources and the way it provides access to the real world is broadening my horizons. If you choose to come here, and I hope you do, you will come to know some remarkable people. Know that whatever your interests are, Hofstra will not leave you unfulfilled. Every person has a chance to realize their dreams here at Hofstra, and you best not miss out on this remarkable experience. Thank you.